Uh, we also have a caller in a line. Is it? Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I have something confused. Maybe somebody can correct me. You guys, you talk about uh, Sharia law and about the pillar in Islam. And, and, and what I'm confused, like all the pillar as the human, either Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Buddha, like how they kill in the Myanmar, like what happens in Ukraine, like what happened here in America in 2015, what we see it all the time, the white cub man, he killed the black people because his slave is black color between two fingers all the time, and they release him from the court. And what the Christianity, they say, just you go in the church, you apologize for the God, and everything derates it, and you become a clear person the second day. is It means the Christianity also. You can't go to kill anybody, and end of the day, you go to apologize for the God, everything clear, and you take your cup of beer, and you sleep deep, and you see nice dream, and nothing happens with all the blood in the street, you kill it. And you say, oh, this is a new system, a new government. But this government also, they believe in God, and they believe in Jesus, and they believe in Buddha, and they believe in Jews. Like what Israel is doing every day in Palestine, from 1948, uh, 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 they killed the Palestinians. They have Holocaust for the Palestinians after Holocaust Hitler. And this is, they have it with the Talmud and with the Torah. They teach the kids in the school, every day you have to go to kill Muslim and the Christian. You need to tell us about that, please. You can't put the spotlight, or you're scared from Israel, or because here, all America scared from Israel and the Zionists. Why we not tell about the world, what Israel and the Jews to do it under the ground for to make the world and to make the people all the time they kill each other. And we need to clear, is that real? You can't go to kill anybody and to come end of the day for Jesus to say, oh, Jesus, please support me. I'm sorry. The rest, all this is the second day you go to kill me. Look at America, what they do it in Venezuela now. What they do it in Africa. Before yesterday, how many people are black you kill them in the street? The same police go in the Sunday, sorry, but father, in the church, I killed this, this, and I apologize. The God, he raised it. So what kind of this God? Please, can you clean for us what this system, for all of this religion? Because we become, do not believe, between what I says, do it with Saudi Arabia, and what Israel, and what America, and what Myanmar, you make us confused. What Sharia Allah and Muslim? What Sharia Allah and Israel? What Sharia Allah and Vatican? What the priest he told you, you come up with that, and everything derates it. Then you go to heaven. So what kind of this God, you know, have any human feeling? He created all the people even. So you guys, you talk something, you make the people confused. Can somebody clear this for me? Where is this God? Every day the blood in the street. Can somebody do something? Thank Those you. Are, yes. Uh, Christian Prince, Dr. Bill Warner, did you understand the caller's question? I'm, I'm going to defer to yeah. Mr. Prince here. Okay. Yeah. Everything he said is absolutely false because he is basing things in wrong information first. We don't go and kill, and then we so go about, we go to Father and say, we forgive us, we are sorry. Who are the one who is killing in Syria? Who is the one who is killing in Africa? Is, is it called Boko Haram or Boko Christian? Is it called Al-Qaeda or Christian Al-Qaeda? Is it called ISIS Christians or it's called ISIS Islam? What are you talking about? You are a hypocrite and you are a false person. However, you spoke about Israel. If you go to your Quran, if you know your Quran, you will never open this topic. In the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 21, your God, Allah, he is the one who asked the Jews to go and kill the, kill the, the Palestinian. This is in your Quran. Ya qawm, udkhulul ardal muqaddas alati katab Allahu lakum, wala tartaddu ala adbarikum, fatanqalibu khasirin. 
go and fight and kill those who they are there. And you will see the Jews, they refused to go and kill the Palestinian, which was the order of Allah. And this is why Allah, he cursed them and he made them lose their way and, and mislead them in the desert for 40 years. What their problem? Because they refused to go and fight the Palestinian and kill them and take their land. So if you are talking about taking the land of the Palestinian according to your Quran, it is your God, Allah, who gave them the, 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 gave the Jews the land, and he is the one actually who created the problem. So shame on you to put it and blame it in the Jew when it is your God, Allah, who ordered the Jews to take it. I'm not talking about the Bible yet. Secondly, when you talk about uh, uh, killing and forgiving, you know, can you quote for me one verse Jesus said, go says, fight those who don't believe in Jesus? It's not exist. But in your Quran, it's all over. Fight those who don't believe. Fight those, even those Muslims who don't want to pray, even those who don't want to, be, to pay the zakat. The Prophet of Islam said, I've been ordered to fight all people, all, no exception, enter. They say there's no God but Allah, and there's no Prophet but Muhammad, and they do the prayer, and they, they pay the zakat, and then only, and they obey the Prophet and Allah, and then, and only then, they will, they, they will protect their blood from being shed by me. So shame on you to put lies together. What do Ukraine have to do with the Christianity? What America even have to do with the Christianity? America actually today is the one number one supporter for the, for the Islamic faith. When Muslims, they go and fight in Yemen, why America support Saudi Arabia, which is killing Muslims, Muslims killing Muslims. And, you know, and because I know at the end is going to end by saying America is the one who did. When, when they attack Saddam Hussein, it is you Muslims who kiss the shoes of, of George Bush to come and invade Iraq. Go and, and, and read your history. You Muslims are the one who create every chaos in the world, and yet you blame it either in the Jews or in the Christians. You know, when, when you cannot have peace in your religion, how you want, you want, how you ask for peace? Every day you pray, you read the Quran, which is recitation against a human being like you. Fight them, kill them wherever you find them, hate them. The Quran in chapter 5, verse 14 says, I will spread hate and enmity between the Christians. So shame on you to speak about love when your book is saying, I will spread hate between the Christians. What kind of God he say, I will spread hate? What kind of God he target the Christians? You see the God of the Christians says, love your enemy. Pray for them, those who curse you. You see the difference? Your God says, I will spread hate. And I'm giving you reference. I'm not making my own quotation. I'm not coming with your, like, like what you are saying. Like, you know, we go to the church and we ask our God for forgiveness. This is false. You see, a Christian, he is not someone who asks God for forgiveness. He is someone who follows Jesus. So I challenge you to show me how many people Jesus killed, how many slaves he owned, how many attack he did, how many caravan he attacked and he took their property, how many women he kidnapped from their family, none. But if, I, if you ask me the same question about your prophet, I will show you that even your prophet in the Quran was accused of stealing an underwear. What kind of a prophet he was accused of stealing under clothes. This is how trashy he is and his followers they are. Because if they are people of respect, they attack a Jew, they killed him, and now they are fighting over his clothes. Not only over his gold, it's even over under his underwear. This is how trashy this religion is. And yet they come to us and say, look what the Jews are doing, what the Jews did there. Who is the one who started the war with the Jews? They never attacked you. Go and read your history. Go and read your history. But Muslims are people who they are ignorant in purpose, which means they, 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 they play victims always. Whatever happened to them, they have to blame someone else. Actually, Muhammad, he said, if there is, if there is no Jew, there is no B for decay, which means even he blamed the food to be damaged because of the Jew. And you will notice that Muhammad, he started hating the Jews for a reason, because they expose him and they show everybody that this guy is a false prophet. And then he starts to divide between the Christian and the Jews. So he said, the most people who hate you is the one who call themselves Jews, and the, the most who they are close to you is the one who calls themselves Nasara, which means Christians, trying to create division between the Jews and the Christian. But when that did not work, Muhammad, he started attacking the Christians. So Muhammad, he do things in stages. However, everything in Islam is based on hate. Your religion is the religion of fighting and killing and attacking. And if you don't like it, then change it. Don't come to me with the speeches. You know, I want to see a real Muslim who can show me a real Quran saying, love your enemy, love the Jews, forgive the Jews. Not someone go to the mosque says, 
may Allah kill everybody, may Allah curse the Jews, may Allah curse the Christians. May, may, you know, name for me one Islamic country have peace. Name for me one place in the world Muslims they go to and there's no shooting and suicide bombing. How, how many suicide bombers we had in the last uh, the, the 20 years made by a Christian? How many uh, kidnapping made for 300 girls, uh, school girls made by Christians? How many uh, school uh, people like in, in Russia? You know, 500 child was slaughtered by the Islamic militant. Even in Pakistan, just a few months ago, the Muslim militant, they attacked an Islamic school. Imagine, those are Muslims. And they slaughtered almost 200 child with no mercy. This is your religion. Don't blame the Jews. There's no Jews in Pakistan. There's no American in Pakistan. So they kill, they slaughter, and they blame everyone else for their filth. And this is exactly what Islam is about. Chris, and you have a, great, a very great point. I mean, honestly, I... God bless you, because the truth that you are uh, displaying right now, I hope our listeners can listen very carefully and understand, Islam uh, de demotes women and, and makes uh, a woman to be not uh, equal as other citizens or me uh, of men as well. Islam is what goes out and commits jihadists on a mass level. Uh, Islam is what creates this Sharia law in which a kafir is considered to be an unbeliever and you are to war against unbelievers. You are to kill unbelievers and those who don't believe. This is completely different from Christianity, which tells you to love your neighbor, which tells you that it's not one will, that no one is separated from our father. So that is very important that you're pointing this out because Christianity and Islam is totally different. And you know, uh, Brother Darwin, let me show you the hypocrisy of Muslims. Once I have a debate with a Muslim scholar, I said to him, how come Allah in chapter 5 verse 21 says to the Jews, go and kill the Palestinians and take their land? He said it was okay at that time because at that time the Palestinians, they were not Muslims. Imagine the hypocrisy. It is okay to take their land at that time because they were not Muslims, but not today. And that is going to lead me to something else. That means Allah, he himself do not know that the Palestinians one day they will be Muslims. So he made a stupid mistake. He ordered the Jews to take the land, and now he tried to correct it by asking Hamas to fight and get the land. So correct, don't Christian. blame the Jews. It is your God. Yeah, I, 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 I want to say 100%. Yeah, the caller's uh, statements are not adding up, and that is completely true. Each time Muslims and, and there was Islamic extremists and everyone who attacked Israel, they were defeated each time of this. And they even gave their land back and, and created uh, and, and did everything in their power to create peace uh, with, with uh, their, their surrounding neighbors. Uh, and, and, and they only have gotten attacked in return. They have only got promises from Iran and ISIS to annihilate the Jewish people and the Jewish state. So you are absolutely uh, correct uh, with those statements.